all eyes were on SA Fashion Week these past few days as some of South Africa's most celebrated designers showed their spring summer collections to a packed audience. Our fashion director Alexa Chaffee May joins us to review the latest collections to hit the catwalk. We missed you darling, welcome back. <laughs> <I'm> back. <laughs> so tell us about some of the shows that you went to see this season, what can we expect? Well there's always a big hype around Kotian Katsia's show course. and this season he actually announced that he's going to be offering a bursary to um, a student and it's a more of a business fashion course mm. that he's doing back at his home university nice. so that was big news around that so the whole collection did kind of center around education and kind of you know calling for you know let's pay attention to the education in our country the collection in itself was beautiful 70s inspired 70s luxe let's mm, say gorgeous. lots of beautiful ruffles interesting detailing uh, a variety of color as well which is really nice to see on the on the runway i think this collection got a lot of praise um, especially because it blended the ready to wear with the couture category yeah. Yeah. So there was something for everybody on the runway. I love it. I love the, the 70s play. Um, also looking at 50s play, Air also is making yes. some great ways on the catwalk. So Air looked to 50s resort wear. Oh, now lovely. traditionally they only design in black. They're one of my favorite designers because it's a lovely day to wear black. Um, <laughs> so normally the entire runway is filled with black, but this season they actually went from white to nudes, to like really dark oh, maroon gorgeous. browns, into the black. Um, and they also played with some swimwear looks as well. Oh, really? So yeah. it was a beautiful capsule collection, again, with a beautiful um, button detailing, which just gave these organic patterns to everything. Yeah. Really stunning. Very, very and nice. And this one here is Anne-Marie Honeyball. Now yes. she has almost made um, this signature applique look. You know, it's very, very unique to her. She kind of sews and weaves together different mm. fabrics and different textures with this very detailed look. It's, in, like I say, it's incredibly signature her. Yes. You know, you definitely know when it comes out, that's Anne-Marie's collection. Wonderful. What about Isabel de Villiers? Loved this collection. So she Ooh, was inspired so by Braille, love letters in Braille and transparency. Oh, wow. And you can see the laser cutting on some of the garments that almost gives it that look of Braille. Yeah. And then, of course, the beautiful translucent layers over the top of it pops of these gorgeous clutch bags as well. And lots of the, the natural kind of greys and the yellow. Oh, one of my favorites, Rubicon. Yes, Rubicon. So she was inspired by an African wedding she attended back in 2010. And it just inspired this beautiful, blissful, delicate feminine collection. You can see here the tasseling and the beautiful petal detailing yeah. on the garments. Definitely bridal inspired, but just magnificent. It was an installation and we all just were ooing and ahhing as we stood around it. Very, very nice. Somerset Jane, this looks very interesting. So love Somerset Jane. She was part of a group of young designers that actually were competing for a new in the new design category. Cool. And really the talent of the young designers in our country is outstanding. So Somerset Jane, I mean, she designs out of her socks. Lumen as well, this beautiful white mm -hmm. collection, again, playing with the transparency and the different layers. And then Heart and Heritage actually won her collection. Um, beautiful, again, looking at, you know, very soft prints and beautiful se separates for summer. Just yeah. really stunning. Well, let me tell you something. South African fashion is up there with the best of them. Absolutely exciting. And um, of course, we can't forget the men, though. Yes. Quickly before we wrap. Awesome, yeah. So, so, um, so SA Fashion Week have become, they really have dedicated a lot of time to create almost like a tasting plate. Yeah. of the different designers in our country. So they look at menswear, womenswear, emerging and established so that nice. everybody you know, has their place. So when you attend that fashion week, you do get all of it. Um, Naked Ape, an amazing menswear collection, and also House of Olay, just outstanding marrying fashion with art. Beautiful Love. graffiti pieces, incredible. Well, whether it's for men or whether it's for women, fashion is incredibly exciting. Thank you so much, Miss Alexis. Oh. Well, if you think this is the only thing, don't worry, there's so much more to come from SA Fashion Week. So tune in Thursdays for an in-depth review and, of course, a close-up look at all the designers' shows. Well, if you have a bunch of leftovers from this weekend, don't worry. We're going to show you exactly what you can do with them.